the turquoise and white sand beaches of Faradero, which until recently received a significant number of Russian tourists, now look quite empty. Just as Cuba tries to recover its vital tourism industry after two years of drastic falls due to the tightening of sanctions imposed by former U.S. President Donald Trump and the coronavirus pandemic, the island's tourism now suffers a new blow. The absence of Russian visitors that gave an oxygen to touristic activity in the last two years. Thousands of Russian travelers had to cut their holidays in Varadero and other areas and return on special flight days after the start of the Russian invasion of Ukraine. The European Union, Canada and the United States closed the airspace to Russian commercial flights, among other financial sanctions, as punishment for the attack. Some airlines closed their ticket sales to the island until the end of March. For some experts, this is a new setback for a country that relies heavily on tourism and is working to attract Russian visitors. Meanwhile, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz again dismissed calls to boycott Russian energy supplies in the wake of the attack on Ukraine. Scholz said that the sanctions already imposed on Russia were hitting its economy. At the same time, the sanctions were designed to be tolerable for those imposing them, including in the long term. Scholz added that Germany was working to diversify its energy supply and while this will take time, it will eventually have the same effect as a boycott. European countries pay Russia hundreds of millions of dollars each day for fossil fuels. Ukrainian officials say this trade effectively finances Russia's war against their country. Campaigners set up a giant candlelit peace sign in Brussels to protest against the invasion of Ukraine and to urge the European Union to impose tougher sanctions on Russia. The protesters gathered by the European Commission and the European Council buildings where EU leaders will meet U.S. President Joe Biden later this week. They set up banners reading, Stop Putin's Oil, and lit candles in the shape of the peace emblem. Pascal Bolenweider of the campaign group Avast said the protest aimed to send a clear message to European leaders. With everyone who is in a position that has no hand in and yet forced to be.